Hey guys, Trif Kuchin here today. We're back with Q episode 5. So last episode, our boys came under a nice mutual understanding. It was beautiful, seeing them to work together. I don't think they've worked out all the kinks yet with their relationship, which I don't expect for a while, but it was so nice to see them like just work together so well. And like, yeah, get a few points there. Seeing the animation for that beautiful spike was absolutely fantastic, especially when he did the big dodge. Because he's little, and that might be a downside, doesn't mean he hasn't got a big heart for the sport, and he can't make it to the big time. As we've seen, he has got a role model who was quite a small guy. All it requires, he just needs to be better in other areas than his opponents. But yeah, no, I really love that episode. I think it was a really good, really good motivational and like just a really good way to show a friendship starting. I could say, I like rivalries in anime. They, I'm a sucker for them. I do love them, but it's actually nice to see two rivals who are forced to see a rival where they're actually forced to work together like they're on the same team at the end of the day. Um, probably the rest of the match this episode, and then we're slowly sort of gonna, then we're gonna start diving into some of the other characters I'm assuming, and yeah, just slowly get more and more invested into the characters. And once that happens, then yeah, then you're hooked, and then they start pulling you in with the drama and emotions. I'm sure, like most sports anime do, and I think Kaiki is probably gonna do that as well. But guys, thank you for w watching these videos and leaving the likes and supporting them. They help me massively. Um, <laughs> Is that their first set? 1 1. He's really obsessed with taking off his set. <laughs> I did not expect that. Ooh, that was smooth. Mate, he's actually getting serious. The specs. He's not taking it so not so chilled now. It's so satisfying. That's never going to get old. <laughs> That's all that matters. There we go. They're like hero combinations in games. <laughs> Respect, my boy. あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
でもいいんすかスガさんこれは俺はバレー部なんだあわざすしろにさいわざすカレーマンナイスかバッハーイチネホールダクトプラスっていうかデカサガジュヨーナと同じポジションあ,あちょちょっとポジションをさらいしていいセッターナ,ナイスウェイトティーチャーズウォーズオブイボーワンフィアウェイズウォーズウォーズウォーズウォーズウォーズウォーズウォーズウォーズウォーズウォーズウォーズウォーズウォーズウォーズウォーズウォーズウォーズウォーズウォーズウォーズウォーズウォーズウォーズウォーズウォーズウォーズウォーズウォーズウォーズウォーズウォーズウォーズウォーズウォーズウォーズウォーズウォーズウォーズウォーズウォーズウォーズウォーズウォーズウォーズウォーズウォーズウォーズウォーズウォーズウォーいや、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、Like, like the Kageyama h i l I did earlier, just as learning experience as well as a match. It's a good way for the captain to learn his strengths and weaknesses of his team. Bless. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, they go to school. <laughs> ah, they men of cool trussy. Mud's clearly nervous. I think once he gets in the zone, he should be alright. I appreciate when the, when the characters are talking, like、um, they're actually moving about and stuff, instead of just having to steal images with the mouths talk, moving. Of course, it's going to do that, but it's always nice when they add a bit of movement. Ignored. I'm quite. St I'm stuck here between which one I like more. You know, or Kageyama. I think Kageyama's growing on me. Already. <laughs> He amuses me. I like them both equally. Let's say that for now. No. Not a little sister. No! <laughs> anime never treats them well. I'm joking. <laughs> I don't think that. Hopefully, this show's not a weird one. I doubt it. Yeah, I'm gonna see his old teammates. Yeah, the pace of this episode is pretty decent, to be fair. Got through the match, so now I'm going straight to another one. And some nice character moments. It's pretty good. He looks dead inside. Oh, great, that's not good. <laughs> Wrecked. <laughs> It's gonna be interesting. I'm glad they've got that sort of a problem. They've got a problem. Need to fix it. Alright. Yeah, I enjoyed the episode. Like I said,、uh, I, get, I, get, I get a lot more love for Kogiyama this episode. Like,、uh, yeah, he, he's funny. <laughs> he amuses me. And I think, I think the guy with the glasses has quite a bit of potential as well to be a good character. I think, like, he's a big softy at heart. I can't feel it. I got that sort of vibe from him. So, hopefully, we get to see a bit more of him and grow growth. But yeah, I like to sort of come over the hurdle when I already like Hinata and、um, Kageyama's new relationship. I feel it's just a lot smoother and friendlier.、Um, hopefully, Hinata's alright next episode. It'll be, be a good match. Like I say, the pacing of this episode was really well done.、Like、we got the rest of the match and then we moved on to sort of like the club, them joining the club, blah, blah, blah. Learning about positions, a bit, 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 bit more fresh how volleyball works.、And、some nice character moments in one episode. I think that's pretty well paced, actually. Um, especially with sports anime, you're not of known for dragging on matches. So I wonder if this show is going to do that sort of thing where it drags on matches for too long. Like, I enjoy, I don't get me wrong, I enjoy it. 
But you know when um, so much is going like I think eight episodes straight or four, four, five, six episodes straight, and it's just like does a match need to be that long? Probably not. So I'm curious how this series is going to handle matches if they be like three episodes long, which I wouldn't mind. Or is it going to get, have really long, long ones where you have to keep switching to the audience every two minutes to get their opinion on the match? Or will it just get on with the match? Um, which is always one thing I'm really interested in. Seems there's a lot, it's definitely going to be a lot more character focused than other sports anime. Like a lot of, like, one thing I like about this so far is the actual character development of the characters. So in sports anime, normally the characters don't develop themselves, it's normally their technique. So, like Ipo, for example. Epo as a character never changes. He's the same person from episode one as he is in the episode in season three, but his boxing technique develops and his way he boxes is different. Whereas I feel like this like how it's already grown, so if, and like personality's already changed a little bit. So I think this is going to be way more character focused than most sports anime. Um, if you know what I mean, like I said, I watched Baby Step recently. Again, same thing. Our character is the exact same person he is in episode one that he is in season three. But again, his techniques changed. Now like, nah, that's only a normal thing, sports anime. So yeah, it's quite, quite kind of a nice little change, really, to be more character focused. But anyway, that's just my opinion. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this reaction. See you next week. Peace.